Hey guys, so here I have my latest custom diecast for Jurassic World. So two of them are Mercedes-Benz from the brand Welly, size 124. And for the gyrosphere, I used the uh, metal simple version that I repainted. So first of all, I want to say that a huge thanks to Mattel for giving us the Jeep diecast that was finally very accurate, size uh, 124. Um, but please, please, please stop with the Jeep like all the brands are doing the Jeep, which is, of course, one of the most iconic vehicles of Jurassic Park. So we have radio control, we've got die cast of various sizes, we've got rusted version, we've got brand new versions. So, okay, we have it, thank you. It doesn't mean that we can't even do better, like, for example, 143 uh, scale, for example. But please just consider other vehicles, like Jurassic has tons of vehicles, just see the assortment of mini matchbox diecast. There's tons of vehicles that can be done. So I think the most uh, awaited diecast would be the Ford Explorer, of course, from Jurassic Park. Then the uh, Mercedes from The Lost World, the ones from Jurassic World. So of course there's a the G-Class, which is beautiful. But, for example, something that we still don't have is the uh, mobile veterinary unit. Uh, all these cars deserve to have larger scale die casts. So, well, this was <laughs> my intro. So now let's step in for the vehicles I just made. So, the gyrosphere. As I said, I used a uh, metal version, the uh, basic one. And actually, for the translucent part, these are the plastic balls you can find in stores. I just had to cut this little part where you can uh, originally put some string to attach it. But well, it works perfectly as you can see. So well, let's open it. Here we go. So once again, this base sculpt is perfect. So my main uh, work on it was to separate all the parts, repaint some in blue and other in silver. In terms of added parts, I only uh, added the tubes there, which are just like in the film. Uh, the hardest part was to cut all this area here, which is um, filled in the original version. So you just have to eat a knife and cut it carefully, and then you just like uh, paint it well and so on, and it looks really good. Uh, these parts are glued. It could be a bit better, to be honest, but well, it holds. So as you can see, everything was really repainted just like in the film, including the kind of uh, dashboard on the gyrosphere, even the silver parts of the seats. Here you can also see the black parts to make it more accurate. So honestly, the base sculpt is perfect, so it was not a bad job, but in the end, it looks really, really like in the film. It was very interesting to do it. Then the two other vehicles. So once again, the base models are welly. So we've got the Mercedes-Benz G-Class and the G63 AMG. So I'll start with this one because it's more simple. So all the bull bars were custom requests that I made to Paul Elder. So you can find them on his website. I think you can buy a lot of three or four. And to be honest, I had extra bull bars, so that's why I did these recently, because I already made this diecast in the past. So uh, for this one, you just have to paint silver the bull bar and fix it. And then for all the stickers on these cars, you can find them on my Flickr. So here you have the license plate, but you can also see at the back, just like in the film. And then on each door, you've got the ACU logo with the number 4. So on these cars, you can, of course, open the doors. You can also open the trunk just there. So, well, it's, of course, very accurate, just like in the film. So an easy custom for everybody. If you like the vehicle, it's really easy to make. And finally, you've got the iconic Jurassic World G-Class, the G550. Uh, so well, on this one, it's a bit more tricky. The first step is to dismantle it, so you can separate uh, the rims, the interior of the car. So well, you have to paint all the rims in black. So by the way, for the paint, I'm only using uh, Revel paint. 
So um, it's glossy black. If you want the numbers, I can give them to you. I even added, to be honest, a bit of umbral to have that a really nice finish. So well, you paint the rims in black. Then you have to paint all the bottom parts there. The grille, the extra tire here. So you can also dismantle it, so it's really easy. And then it's just adding the stickers and the bull bar. So we've got, of course, the LED bars on it, the extra lights there, and there's the headlights, the ones on the mirrors, because you have to paint them black as well. Then on the doors, the for official use logo, 05, also these little parts there. So well, really easy to do and to have a great finish. So I advise to cut it several times, the blue stripe. So there, there again, there, and then this part, so that you can really open the door without damaging the vehicle. You even have the logos of the Mercedes in the rims. So all this, you can find them on my Flickr. So it takes a bit more time. It took me a few days to finish this one. But honestly, in the end, you've got a very accurate die cast of the vehicle. So the main difference is, um, so first of all, in the movie, the version is a bit more recent. So you have the tablet just there, which is not there. You have new mirrors. You also have other kind of rims. But overall, for most of the people, you won't see any difference. So well, if you have any questions or requests about these diecasts, don't hesitate to contact me on my pages. And once again, if there's any company or people at Universal watching this video, please give us a chance to have other vehicles and the Jeep in larger scale diecasts.